Bye bye. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I don't exist in the real world. I like to dance and sing, and no, I don't really do any of those things. Goodbye. Hey guys, I thought I'd show you how I animate on Macromedia Flash MX today. If you want to start animating on YouTube or for fun, and you don't know where to start or how to start, then I'm here to help you by showing you how I animate these storytelling animation video things. I am not a professional, but I'm more than happy to share some of the things I know with you all. Okay, so first, you're gonna need a Flash program. If you don't have one, then I suggest you click this video right here. Okay, so now that you have a Flash program, the next thing you're gonna do is open it. This is how my setup looks like. Yours is probably different because mine is customized. It's okay, don't panic. If you want, you can follow my setup. You can have it customized by dragging each windows like this. Just drag it around and you know, customize. You can put this one right here. Whoa, 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 no, no, I don't want that there. I want that here. Also, you probably want to have this library here. So all you have to do is click window and click library. And there's your library right here. You could just save it as And you could just save the panel layout right here by naming it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Bob. Okay. So that whenever you open your flash, you're gonna have this setup. Or if you don't have this setup, all you have to do is just go to window again and press panel sets and click the Bob. I mean the tools one is usually doing this, you know, sticking to the left. Now all you have to do is just drag it to the right because I want it on the right one. This is your layer section. I'm assuming you know what layers are. This is how they are. This is how you insert a layer, by the way. So this section right here is your timeline. This is where your keyframes and keys are. And this is the canvas. This is obviously where we're gonna draw. I'm going to select the brush tool here. I've already selected it. You could just select all the tools here if you want. I'm gonna select the brush tool here. And as you can see, I have my pen pressure activated here. So it looks like that when I draw. If this is not activated, then just like that. And pen pressure always gives the nice results. So I suggest you go get yourself a tablet, just a cheap tablet if you want, just so you could get this awesome pen pressure effect that you're having here. So right now, I'm just gonna sketch a character. All right, okay. Okay, so I'm done sketching our character here. Now we want him to be able to move and talk. So what we're gonna do first, or what I would do first, is to draw the head. One that's facing in front, above, below, left, and right. Also, don't forget to draw the head positions in a new layer. And be sure to lighten the color of your sketch so you won't get confused while you draw on the head positions. Make sure you draw each of them in different frames. To draw on a new frame, just press F7. And there we go! A new frame magically appears. You'd also probably need to activate the onion skin so you can see a faint image of the previous frame. It helps to guide your way. You might also want to sketch the head positions first in another layer to make sure they would look right. When I color the shadows, I select the pencil and mark where the shadows should be. So I can just fill it in with a darker color and easily select and delete the marks I did with the pencil. Now that that's done, I would draw the torso next. This time I'll only draw one frame for the torso because I prefer to not have it move. Let's get that done. All right, now next, I would draw the arms. 
The frames you're gonna draw depends on how many arm positions slash gestures you'd like. I usually draw six. The lazy slash do nothing position, the this is it position, the me or I'm position, the exaggeratingly pointing on the left position, the look at this left position, and the look at this right position. Make sure you have a separate layer for your top arm, the arms that show up front, and bottom arm, the arms that don't show up front. Oops, I forgot to draw the nose. I'll just draw it on right now. Okay, so after that one, I would draw the eyes. It's the same with the arm positions, but I usually draw eight different eye movements. So it's the open eyes, the closed eyes, the angry eyes, the happy eyes, the sad or confused eyes, the slightly pissed, slightly neutral eyes, looking to the left eyes, and the looking to the right eyes. Ha! Finished! Now let's draw the mouth positions. The mouth positions I would use would be close MBP position, the open A position, the SN position, the FV position, the OU position, the E position, and lastly, the L position. You know, actually with lip syncing, you can do as many as you want if you want it to be really really accurate. These are just the main mouth positions I use because I think it still looks good with just these eight. Okay, now that that's all completed, it's time to animate! But first we need an audio to animate to. You can record one or you can use one you've already recorded. I'll just record one because I want to. Right, we just import this audio to our library, make a new layer, name it audio, drag the file to our canvas, extend this by putting a new frame on the timeline until you reach the end of the audio. Cut off the extra frames and you're done. Now it's time to convert everything into symbols, starting with the facial expressions and the gestures, or the eyes and the arms, then the head, and lastly the mouth. Just select each of them and convert them into symbols by right-clicking and clicking Convert to Symbol. And done! Now it's time to really animate! Finally! So what you're gonna have to do is to sync each movement to the audio. I'm gonna start with syncing the arms first, so yeah. So for example here when he says, Hi, Hi I'm Nathan. Nathan. I'm going to open up this panel. In my case, I press the spacebar. But if that doesn't work for you, you have to set it to spacebar by going to edit keyboard shortcuts, modify, and then go to swap symbol, and then click the plus sign, and press spacebar. Now click OK. Now once you have that set up, what you're gonna do next is select this arm position when he says hi. Hi. And I'm going to select this arm position when he says I'm Nathan. So it just goes like Hi, I'm Nathan. Hi, I'm Nathan. Now for the head, you basically just do the same thing. Select the position you want and boom. There we have it. The same goes for your mouth Hi. and eyes and basically everything that you've turned into a symbol. Now I'm going to do this in time lapse form because I'm assuming you get the gist of things already. So you just figure out what you want your position to be and then you put it all together then you basically just sync it to the audio the same goes for lip sync lip syncing will be the hardest part here but it's still fun for me 
Just sync it to the audio. Sync it to the audio. Swap the symbols. Sync it to the audio. And also, don't forget layers. There should be separate layers for your mouth, for your eyes, for your head, for your arms, and torso. I'm Nathan, and I don't exist in the real world. I like to dance and sing, and no, I don't really do any of those things. Goodbye. Okay, so that will be all. I hope you actually learned something. If not, then you can watch the video again until you learn something. Or if you have any more questions, you're free to leave them down below, and I will get to them. Okay, so goodbye for now. I'll probably make another tutorial soon, but this time on how I draw and color, so it'll be fun. Yeah, okay, bye guys, I'll see you on the next video.